hi i am precious and in this video we are going to consider the concept of integration by parts and which is an analog of uh, the product rule under differentiation so it uh, takes care of uh, the integration of the product of functions and so in which when you are given for instance look at this this is a product you have x here and you have lin x okay so you are expected to split it into two where one will be called u and the other including the dx will be called your dv and so and what you are expected to do is to get from it you will get the value of your u and then get the value of v and then also get the value of du so that when you now substitute into this formula that will give you uh, and then you resolve it to get your solution so let's quickly look at examples okay so here we have evaluate x lin x dx okay so what do we do of course this is a product and then in this product of course we always state our formula and so from this formula we'll decide to choose which of these will be our u and then the other will be our dv and then there's a condition to make this choice and what is it you would have to choose your u to be the one that will be easily differentiable and then your dv to be the one that you can easily integrate okay so and actually the dv is almost very much more important because it takes more rigors to integrate than it is to differentiate and so in between this i can easily differentiate my x sorry integrate my x and then i can also easily differentiate lin x and so i decided to choose my u as lin x and then the remaining which is x dx will now be my v and so when you have done this choice the next thing is to now from here find your du and from here find the value of v and so to find your du all you need to do is to differentiate u with respect to x and when you do you make du the subject so if you differentiate this you are going to get uh, one all over x and so when you have du dx to be equal to one all over x so you cross multiply and that will now give you du as if this comes over here you will now have dx all over x and that's how we got this and then how do you get your v just integrate this so put your integral sign on the both sides and when you now this thing means now the integral of one of course there's a, a you know, invisible one here with respect to v and so when you differentiate integrate one with respect to v you will get v and when you integrate x with respect to x which is this you will get x squared all over two and so when that is done that's how we got these two and so you will now quickly substitute into this formula now of course this is now replacing this is your d uh, integral of u dv so of course this is your u and then x d uh, dx is your dv and so under here you are now going to substitute all of this so what is our u our u is lin x and then our v is x squared all over 2 minus our v x squared all over 2 then du is uh, uh, given as dx all over x and that's how we have this and so immediately you come to this point the next thing is to evaluate what you have and so we try to evaluate multiply out and this gives us this and then from here x takes away one x so you have only x left and then there is uh, the half here one all over two which we brought out of the integral and then when we now uh, integrated this of course this is ready so you only integrate this now and when you integrate x you will have x squared all over two and then that is when you will bring your c of course at this point you don't need to bring in your c so you bring out the whole c here and finally if you multiply this out this will give you x squared all over 4 plus c and that's our solution so the next example so here we are asked to integrate x uh, exponential x with respect to x so in this case what are we going to choose as our u we can take x of course any of them is easily integrable and easily differentiable so anyone can go for our u and anyone can go for dv so if we take x as our u then the remaining part becomes our dv that's exponential x dx and so we try to find our du from here and if you differentiate u here you will get 
du dx will be equal to 1. So when you cross multiply, you will get du as equal to dx. And then when you integrate here, you integrate um, exponential x, uh, you are going to also get exponential x. And that's how we got this. And then you substitute. Uh, your u becomes uh, x and your v is exponential x as we have here minus your v exponential x then du is exactly equal to dx and so you simplify so you multiply out this you have this and when you integrate exponential s you still get exponential x and then plus our constant c and finally this becomes our solution and you can choose to factorize exponential x from here and that will give you x minus 1 so we go to a next example so example 3 here we are giving uh, the product of 3x and sine x okay so state your formula the formula will always help you know what you're looking for because the whole of this stands for here and so from here you now want to get this uh, variable so that you substitute and then evaluate okay so of course from here we will take our u as 3x now also here you can see either of these can be integrated and can also be differentiated so i can take my u as uh, sine x and i'll still get my solution all right so from here if you differentiate u with respect to x you'll get 3 and when you cross multiply you'll have 3x and so when you integrate uh, this side you get v integrate this side you get minus cos x so when we make substitution now we are going to have uh, of course our u is 3x multiplied by v minus cos x and then you substitute your v here which is minus cos x and then your du is equal to 3 dx and that's why i multiplied here and then 3 came here and then i have dx here all right so when you simplify here this minus 3 will come out to give you a uh, plus 3 and so you only have the integral of cos x and so when you integrate cos x of course you get sine x which will multiply that 3 to give you plus 3 sine x and when you multiply out this you have minus 3 x cos x plus 3 sine x and that's the solution for that problem so the next example we have exponential x cos x with respect to x okay so state your formula and then choose your u and your v and also here any one of it can be your u and any one can be your dv so when we differentiate this to get our du, the, the derivative of u uh, here is also exponential x. You cross multiply, you still have this. You integrate this, you get v. Integrate this, you get sine x. Substitute here, and that's going to give us u is equal to uh, exponential x, then sine x, which is our v minus sine x, which is our v multiplied by uh, du and our du is exponential x dx so this thing is a product here so there is a product here okay please take note of that and then from here what do we do next so you can see now watch what happened here at this point of course this now also gives us another product which is also going to be differentiated by parts and so we're also going to apply integration by parts here. Remember, this side is already taken care of, so you can just leave this side. And so you're also going to apply uh, u, uv minus uh, integral of v du. And in this case here, our u is still exponential x, and then our v dv is sine x dx. And so let's follow it here. So if you use that approach, what it means is that for the second one, our u is equal to exponential x and our dv is sine x dx okay so if you integrate here you are going to get that v for this second integration is going to be minus cos x dx and our du here is going to now be the same exponential x dx and so we want to substitute now into this afresh and so when you do that, you put your u now as uh, uh, exponential u, sorry, exponential x, and then your v is now minus cos x. And that minus cos x multiplying this, that's how we got this minus exponential e cos x. Remember, here you have minus this integral, and that's this minus. And then I'm raising a bracket here. 
And so we get this. Then by your uh, integration by part, there is also a minus sign after u v, and that is this. Then integral of v now, our v in this case is uh, minus cos x. While our yeah, our v is minus cos x. Please, the this the x is not supposed to be here. Our du now is going to now be what we have here, which is exponential x dx, and that's what we substituted here. So if you put, so if you put in this case, you have v, which is minus cos x, then multiplying du, which is exponential x dx. So this is what multiplied to give us this. And so we now try to simplify this. And when we do that, we are going to have that this is going to give us this. First of all, you open this other place, bring out this negative sign, and then that will give you positive here. So I decided to take it step by step. So uh, here now, you try to now open this bracket. And when you do, you will now have exponential sign x. This minus will change this to plus, and then change this one to minus. And now watch what is going to happen. Remember on the left hand side, you still have integral of exponential s cos x dx. And on the right hand side, you now have the same uh, term. So I'm going to bring this term to the left hand side. And when it comes to the left hand side, it's going to add up to this one. And so you are going to now have two of it. That's two integral exponential x with uh, cos x dx. And then that's equal to only this now is now left on the right hand side. Now, because when this got over to this, this minus sign changed to positive. And so we have this. And finally, just divide both sides by 2. And that gives you only this, which is what we originally asked to find. And that's the solution to this problem. And you can choose to write this as exponential x over 2, multiplying this either ways. And this is your solution. So finally, we look at the next example. How do we integrate a logarithmic function? If you have the natural log of x and you're asked to integrate it, what do you do? Now, I decided to bring this example so that we can see it's sometimes very tricky. So what do you do here? You will choose your u as lin x. And so what becomes your v now? What becomes your dv? Your dv is now only this dx that is left. And like I said here, of course, there is one here attached to it okay so and it is that one that you're going to integrate now and so when we get to that so we try to now differentiate this to get our du and that will give us the x all over x what is now our v so by the time you integrate this you are going to get v and if you integrate one here with respect to x you will get x all right so that's how to actually handle this and finally you make your substitution and uh, what is your u L in x, what is your vx minus what is your vx, and then du is dx all over x, and so this will cancel away, and you will just have, of course, this multiplying now will give us x in x minus integral of 1 dx. So I decided to leave the 1 here because if x cancels x, you have 1 here. When you integrate, that will give you x here, and that is your solution, all right, and that's where we'll end it for this class. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share our YouTube videos, and we'll see you in our next video. Always find related topics to what we have discussed in the description below. Please, uh, you can always reach out to us in case you have anything. Right, bye.